The story of Perillo Tours. Three generations of leadership, innovation, and experience since 1945. The story of Perillo Tours begins with Joseph Perillo, an Italian attorney who immigrated to the United States in 1925. Twenty years later, Joseph founded a small company in a modest storefront in the Bronx under the 3rd Avenue L train in a section they still call Little Italy. Joseph Perillo started his company to satisfy the growing needs of the large immigrant population, especially Italian Americans, who settled in America after World War II. At the start, the agency was an ethnic Italian travel agency, as well as a sort of community center of business and social services for the immigrant population. A daily menu of services would include immigration, translations, foreign exchange, food parcels to post-war Italy, and their mainstay service, steamship and later airline tickets for those who hungered to go back to their motherland. From this humble beginning, the company began to earn modest success by providing their customers with value, quality, and convenience, the distinguishing hallmarks of the first generation of Perillo leadership. About six months after Joseph Perillo opened shop, Mario Perillo, fresh out of the Air Force, joined his father in business. During the next 15 years, Mario worked with the company, graduated from New York Law School, and practice law at the same Bronx location. His first taste of the travel future was the Catholic Holy Year, 1950. Under the spiritual leadership of Bishop Joseph Perniconi, Mario gathered a group of 200 parishioners from Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church and sailed to Naples on the SS Atlantic in April, 1950. One of the trip's main attractions was its trusted leaders the Bishop and Mario, who provided comfort and security for the travelers, some of whom had never left the Bronx. In addition, the tours were all-inclusive, thus eliminating surprise expenses far away from home. These concepts, escorted and all-inclusive, were to become the hallmarks of Perillo's travel offerings and integral to their future success. During the next 15 years, Perillo Tours grew to be the largest Italian ethnic agency in New York City and consequently the nation. During this period, Italian radio stations rang out with the Perillo slogan, Viaggia con Perillo, viaggia sempre tranquillo. When you travel with Perillo, you travel in tranquility. All the while, Mario Perillo was learning important lessons that would serve the company well into the future. Most importantly, the comfort and convenience of an all-inclusive tour. Mario, like his father before him, felt very strongly about Perillo's ability to provide extraordinary value to its customers, and he wanted to tell the world about it. He was an innovative marketer and an early adopter of modern marketing tools, embracing newspaper, radio, and television to deliver his unique message to customers. Let Mario take care of everything. You relax, sit back, see the sights, enjoy life. In the mid-1970s, Perillo Tours closed down all retail operations to become a wholesaler to Italy and eventually other popular travel destinations as well. That marked the beginning of a long period where travel agents across the United States became a trusted partner to Perillo Tours, making the company synonymous with travel to Italy. Perillo grew quickly during this period and moved its operation from the Bronx to Pearl River, New York. Over the next 20 years, Perillo chartered as many as 60 747s per year from Pan Am, far more than any other company, to support growing demand for their popular 14-day escorted tours to Italy. Perillo was consistently Pan Am's largest customer in the world. Perillo became and remains today the largest escorted tour operator to Italy in the USA. To date, over one million people have traveled with Perillo Tours. Mario continued to perfect his tour packages. In his first major expansion outside of Italy in 1985, 
Perillo made an historic arrangement with the Paradise Island Resort and Casino in the Bahamas for a series of all-inclusive vacation tours. To call it a success is an understatement. Over 10,000 customers booked in the first 100 days. This success led to the creation of a Club Perillo aboard the Costa Riviera in the Caribbean, another in St. Martin, as well as an all-inclusive, all-escorted vacation package to Hawaii. In 1988, Perillo Tours moved its headquarters from Pearl River, New York, to its current location, Woodcliffe Lake, New Jersey. Over the years, Mario Perillo achieved celebrity status, becoming known as Mr. Italy. His ubiquitous TV commercials, print and radio advertisements, and his personal image were seen nationally by tens of millions of people throughout the United States. Tours in Alitalia. This is Mario had personal contact with many of the world's most prominent leaders of the day, including Pope John Paul II, Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, and many more. Toward the sunset of his career, Mario, Mr. Italy, became a celebrity brand unto himself. This was best epitomized when Domino's Pizza invited Mario to become their advertising spokesperson for a series of television commercials, his first advertising foray outside of the travel industry. Mario Perillo here, taking you to Italy with Domino's new Italian Originals Chicken Grill Pizza. Travel with me, Mr. Italy, through tender chicken marinated in a medley of Italian spices. Meander through slice after slice of Tuscany with seasoned onions. Marvel at the colors of the peppers, red, yellow, and green. You'll have a wonderful time. Call now for Domino's new Italian Originals Chicken Grill Pizza. This promises to be the pie of a lifetime. Today, Mario's son, Steve Perillo, drives the third generation of family leadership, maintaining Perillo's preeminent position in the travel industry. Steve began as marketing director for Perillo Tours and assisted his father with advertising, but eventually Steve worked in every phase of the family business. He was instrumental in helping make Perillo's expansion to new travel destinations like the Caribbean, Hawaii, Spain, and Europe a big success. In 1997, Steve became president of Perillo Tours, and in 2003, he became CEO. Like his father, Steve is a visionary businessman and innovative marketer. He recognized the power and reach of the internet long before his competitors and pioneered its application and integration into Perillo Tours in the late 1990s, including features such as online booking and electronic brochures. This DVD is yet another Steve innovation. I love our brochures and I love the internet, but I wanted something more. I wanted something that customers could view in the convenience and comfort of their own living room. Something that would give them an emotional sense of what Italy and Perillo has to offer. As Steve moves the company in innovative new directions, he continues to deliver deluxe, fully escorted adventures that are the most elegant, carefree, and affordable ways for consumers to travel to Italy and beyond. He works hard to fulfill the Perillo promise of taking customers in comfort to the world's largest cities and smallest hill towns, always escorted by the finest, most knowledgeable and experienced tour directors in the world. Tour directors who not only become your traveling companions, but often friends for life. Like his grandfather and father before him, Steve is leading the third generation of Perillo Tours into the future. Today's traveler is smarter, more adventurous, and more demanding than ever. They want a quality tour. They want to experience the authenticity of a country like Italy and they want to rediscover something about themselves while they travel. We live in a modern, stress-filled world. But when you travel, you should feel suspended by history, afloat in architecture, comforted by our fine tour guides, and alive in the moment of another culture. This is the real pleasure and passion of traveling. This is what I strive to deliver through Perillo Tours as the third generation leader and keeper of the Perillo name. Perillo Tours. Three generations of leadership, innovation, and experience since 1945.